Well, hello, 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 everybody. How is everybody doing today? Thank you so much for joining me for another Facebook Friday, Facebook Live for Lychee Friday. I've got my shades. I'm ready to, I'm ready to go back to Greece. I'm like channeling Greece here. I got my little, um, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, maybe a romper, um, whatever. It's kind of like a cover-up, really, but it's like super cozy. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Sandra. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at myself like, boy, I do look pretty ridiculous. I'm actually wear these a lot, like on the ship. <laughs> I didn't realize how how great I looked here. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, <laughs> great sunglasses. Did I show you which side? One of these, yeah. They, well, it's backwards, but it says Stampin' Up on there. Hey, Diana, how are you? Yeah, so um, Lily wanted to wear my sunglasses, like my, you know, cool mom sunglasses. And so I let her borrow those, and then I was wearing these a lot on the ship. And like I said, I didn't realize how uh, kind of silly I looked in those. Um, but yeah, anyway, so I'm wearing, this is like a, uh, whatever, like I said, it's like a sundress, basically. Um, but I got it in Mykonos, Greece. So I'm like kind of channeling the whole, like, I want to go back to the trip. I've got that feeling still of like, oh, I loved all of that so much. So yeah, anyway, blah, 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 right? So how's everybody doing? Hopefully you guys are all good today. It's not nearly as hot either. I was talking with um, a gal that watched Facebook Live and I was like, yeah, could you see like the sheen on my face last week? It was so darn hot. So this week it's not nearly as bad. It's like a beautiful Friday morning afternoon here in Michigan. Hopefully it's beautiful where you guys are too. And I have, um, I think we're gonna have a, a little special guest appearance. Um, Lily is babysitting a friend of mine's daughter named Ella. So I think maybe Lily and Ella are gonna come say hi to us at some point. They were at the park playing and they just got back before Facebook Live and I was like, come say hi. So hopefully they'll do that for us. Um, so let's see what's been going on. We actually, we had bingo at the stamp studio last night, which was tons of fun. I always love uh, to do bingo. And I think I'm going to, I was trying to decide, I will probably do another online bingo um, actually this fall. Hey, Jamie, how are you? Beautiful day in Ohio. So Jamie, you have to tell me, because um, I think that you said your son's team was playing against what should have been my son's Alma Panthers. Um, basketball team last Friday night and I've been dying to know how the game went hopefully it was a good game there was lots of good sportsmanship um, I Cade uh, said they won a couple games and lost a couple games but he couldn't remember that one in particular when he asked some friends hey Paulette how are you doing so let me know hopefully hopefully it was a good weekend for you guys um, yeah and the boys were actually supposed to play um, his AAU travel team was supposed to play down in Fort Wayne this weekend for a basketball tournament but they don't have enough kids to play. This is just, this July is always such a hard time, you know, with family vacations and other things going on. And so they just literally didn't have enough kids to make a team to go. So good and bad. I was kind of looking forward to going because I wasn't able to go uh, last weekend down to Columbus is where he played. Um, but then, you know, that's all right. We can do other fun things uh, while the beautiful summer. <laughs> yes, okay, so you guys won. Good, okay, good sportsmanship. I love to hear that. Your team won the tournament. That is awesome. Go, Jamie. Very, very cool. Well, I'll have to mention to Kay that, yeah, that your son's team was the one that won the whole tournament. He'll know who that is then, too, I'm sure. Very, very cool. Well, congratulations. You guys must have an awesome, awesome basketball team, which is so much fun to watch, isn't it? It's yeah, <laughs> love good basketball, right? Um, okay, so yeah, I was talking about bingo. So I think I'm gonna do an online bingo um, this fall. I'll do another one for the holiday catalog. So let me know if anybody's interested in participating in that. Um, we set up like a separate Facebook group and I we do it all online. I send out your cards um, and then there's always a goodie bag of prizes and then more prizes that you can win if you get a bingo so anyway it's lots of fun I did it once earlier this year and it went really really well I was very happy with the results because I had never done one before so I wasn't sure how it was gonna go but um, but yeah last night live bingo at the stamp studio that was awesome I love to do that um, it's just something fun and different we play a bunch of games of bingo and then uh, we did some make and takes and I'm actually gonna be showing you guys um, lots of stuff from bingo last night too on our Facebook live um, oh, the other thing too, just a quick reminder, bonus days um, are going on right now in July through July 31st. So what is that? I think
next Wednesday is the last day. So what is bonus days? If you guys don't know already, make sure if you put in an order of at least $50, you're going to get a $5 bonus day coupon. It will be emailed to you and then you can use it next month off of an order in August. So it's a great promotion. They've done it the past couple of summers. Um, and it's just a fun way to get a little um, something extra with an order this month. So make sure you do that. Make sure you use the host code too um, if you order through me because then you're gonna get free stuff from me too along with that $5 bonus day coupon. So it's an awesome time to order your annual catalog stuff. I'm sure you guys all have your eye on lots of things, um, you know, spreading it out, budgeting it, what you can get each month. So um, go ahead and put that order in, use the host code, get your $5 bonus day coupon. Um, if you're new to me, just so you you guys know when I give you um, the host code that means that you're gonna get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook live we do that in just a little bit and then you also get your name in a drawing for some awesome prize that I announce every single Friday on Facebook live so I'll tell you more about the prize that we're gonna give away later on on Facebook live um, the other thing to make sure <laughs> thank you Diana you're very sweet I'm glad you enjoy the videos um, that means a lot to me too because uh, you guys know this I say this right it's a lot of work to put all this together so I uh, really appreciate you appreciating me doing this for you so thank you thank you anyone in on bingo <laughs> yes it, it will be good I promise it will be good all right I will keep you posted on that Diana um, so, oh, the other thing too, I'm like trying to keep an eye on my notes here, starter kit deal. So you guys all know, right, I was totally like teasing you with a bunch of product that we got from the holiday catalog, right, on our cruise. Um, so I still can't show you the inside of the catalog. Um, if you're a demonstrator, you can see the PDF version on the Stampin' Up! website. We have the link um, to be able to see the inside pages um, on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, also, if you're a demonstrator, actually, if you put a demonstrator order in between August 1st and I think it's the 11th, they're going to send you a copy of your holiday catalog with your first order. Um, after that, they will be mailing out um, holiday catalogs to all demonstrators that haven't ordered. And then um, if you would like me to mail you a holiday catalog, we have something called a mailing selector and I can go in and um, pick people that I want Stampin' Up! to send a catalog two on my behalf so let me know if you want me to do that i can get one sent out to you but the other thing you can do hey susie how are you doing um the other thing you can do is if you get the starter kit right we've got that awesome starter kit deal going on right now so for example if you bought the starter kit today you would pick 155 dollars in product and pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax the shipping fee is waived i always like i'm always afraid i'm going to say that wrong um then you only did I you only pay $99 plus sales tax right $155 in product sorry I saw Diana's um, uh, message come through and I was like I got all sidetracked okay so $155 in product pay only $99 plus sales tax the shipping fee is waived then you also get a $10 coupon off your first order the following month that you get the starter kit so this is the really cool thing so say if you have a bunch of stuff that you've got like on your wish list from the annual catalog go ahead and put your starter kit order in now right anytime um, between now really you have until August 31st but say if you did it in July then on August 1st you can put in a demonstrator order and then actually order out of the holiday catalog um, the other thing that you could do if you waited until August 1st I'm sure that you can get holiday catalog product in your starter kit so you've got a couple of different options there but we're getting really close to the point we're going to be able to order out of the holiday catalog and i know that's always like a super like everybody loves that time of year um you know when you can start thinking about holidays and getting holiday catalog stuff hey rosemary how are you doing um so just know that that's an awesome awesome deal it's the starter kit deal does go through august 31st so you could wait you could put your demonstrator order in on august 1st get a bunch of stuff from the holiday catalog in your starter kit and then it's usually really really fast too um, like if somebody were to um, buy the starter kit through me like right now in a few minutes you should have an email from stampin up with your demonstrator id and your password so then you can log on to the stampin up website there's a little bit of stuff you have to set up but then you can put your first order in right away and then you start getting 20 percent off of everything that you order and rosemary you're getting close to the wedding i 
I know it's coming up I think next Saturday right so good luck congratulations it's, you guys are gonna have just a fabulous oh so fun right getting married so fun <laughs> and the honeymoon and all the other fun stuff too right um, so yeah congratulations to you guys um, okay so let's see what else oh I have teeny tiny yeah. Oh, well, because let me just say too. So the, um, the holiday catalog, if you don't buy the starter kit, then as a customer, you have to wait until September 4th to order out of the holiday catalog. So it's a great incentive to get that starter kit, become a demonstrator, which can basically mean I just want to get um, a discount on my own, like personal purchases. I did that in the very beginning as well. Um, so there's no pressure. You don't have to do much more with um, your demonstratorship if you don't want to. Basically, just get the kit and get the deal on the kit and the discount going forward. I have the link to getting the starter kit and then learning more about becoming um, a part of our group, the Inspired Stampers. That is at Gathering Inspiration Inc. with a K, GatheringInspiration.com. So check that out. I give you lots of other information about all the awesome reasons why you'd want to get the starter kit through me and become an Inspired Stamper. Um, okay, so let's do, we're going to do our first drawing. So um, again, if you're new to Facebook Live, I want to make sure, sometimes I know I say this super quickly because I'm only thinking of the people that watch every week, but if there are new people, I want to make sure you guys understand too. So here I am kind of, I'm like shaking the names around in my little paper pumpkin bag here. So we are going to give away today on Facebook Live, and I didn't bring a project over that has this because this is not open, so it's a little bit harder to see it. But this is that very vanilla. It's called the, uh, where is it? Scalloped Lace Trim. So this is what we're going to give away today on Facebook Live. This is how you get your name in this basket. You get one entry for posting a comment on Facebook Live. You can do it now or anytime until next Thursday night. So even if you watch this Facebook Live video next Thursday and comment, your name is gonna go in here for next week, okay? If you share the video or if you tag a friend, just make sure if you share the video that you make a little comment about the video when you do your share, you're gonna get three entries into the drawing. Um, if you're new to me and just signed up for my email list, you also get three entries into the drawing. And then lastly, I have my little slips of paper that have the days of the week, and this one says Sunday on it, if you can see that. So this was the random draw day that I did, so Sunday. So last Sunday, whatever I posted, if you commented or shared, can I get that finger up? Maybe I'll do that one. <laughs> yeah, I can't get that finger up. Or if you posted a picture of something you made last Sunday, your name went in the drawing three more times. So lots and lots and lots of ways to win this beautiful ribbon. So here we go. We are going to draw for the ribbon now, and then I'll show you what we're going to give away next week, too. Okay. Next Saturday, Rosemary. Yay. Awesome. 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 It's going to be good weather, I bet, too. It's been just really pleasant. Just that one Friday was so awful. <laughs> course that one Friday okay here we go shaking around I've got one in my hand thank you hey Debbie how are you thank you for the share miss Linda Dennis and this reminds me too Linda actually she comments on YouTube so comments on YouTube go in here as well so just so you know that if you watch on Facebook um, through our Facebook group or if you watch on YouTube um, comments through YouTube also get your name in the drawing so miss Linda I will be sending out this very vanilla scalloped edge ribbon and yes Debbie watching from Michigan Vicksburg I remember now it was funny because I knew you told me that a while ago and I blanked out when you said before so okay so this week because I realized I was I'd been giving away like all the different in color ribbons and I skipped this one so I'm like oh we got to go back so this is the purple posy the scalloped linen ribbon which is my this is my favorite color my favorite in color right now the purple posy ribbon so this is what we'll draw for next week comment share tag a friend sign up for my email list post um, a project of some a picture of something that you guys have made and your name will get possibly entered into that drawing um, it is beautiful isn't it <laughs> thank you Debbie um, so the other thing which this makes me think we had a couple of announcements um, so they're on our um, Stampin' Up like 
um, business page right now and then also they told us on the cruise and I forgot to mention and I know people have kind of been wondering a couple of things everybody's kind of really wondering about right so the new not it's not gonna be called a big shot but the die cutting and embossing machine people have been wondering when's that new machine gonna be available we've also been wondering about the stamp and trimmer the um, you know basically the cutting um, plate um, when are we gonna have a new trimmer and then how about the purple posy ink pad so basically unfortunately what they said is that all three of those things are still kind of in the works but they just they don't they're not at a point where they can really communicate you know when things are going to be available the one thing that they did say is and i think it's to do with purple posy because it's such a really light pale color um, something's happening I don't know if it's like once you stamp it if it kind of fades or changes over time there's something that they're not happy with like in the ink formula and they've tried a few different versions of it um, I'm pretty sure that the one gal that spoke at our general conference um, uh, general session said and she's like part of product development there is a chance that we may never have a purple posy ink pad they basically said and and I can respect and understand this if they can't get an ink pad in terms of the color and what it's supposed to do and hold, how it's supposed to hold up, if they can't get it to do what they want to do over time even, they're not going to offer the ink pad, which, like I said, I completely respect and can understand from the perspective of if they just made a bunch of these Purple Posey ink pads and sent them out to everybody and then people were having problems with them, they'd either have to replace them or, you know, it would just become a big mess. So I do understand. I know it's a bummer. The kind of workaround is if you use your Versamark ink pad um, on Purple Posey cardstock, you can kind of make it look like you stamped in Purple Posey ink. So that's what I've been doing. Or you just use another color that's part of your color combination on your card so there's there are workarounds it'll be okay you can still totally enjoy purple posy I know I have as the ribbon I'm going to show you um, a card that we made using purple posy cardstock so just kind of know that you know it's not great but there's nothing we can do about it and so just get on get on you know move on get over it it'll be all right um, there are lots of other beautiful colors that we can play with and then like I said you can use purple posy in other ways too maybe just not stamping with it so and hopefully you know hopefully that's not the case but you know it's been a few months they're working on it and they will not put out a product that they're not ready to 100% stand behind so and the, that's the other reason why they're not ready to tell us about the trimmer or the die cutting machine because I think both of them are taking maybe a little bit longer than anticipated um, the one thing they did say and I know that for a fact neither one of those are offered in this holiday catalog you know I don't know those the catalogs are developed so much beyond what we know like I feel like the annual catalog from next summer is probably already all developed um, so I don't know if there's a chance that it would be in the um, occasions catalog in, in the beginning of next year we'll see so we just have to be patient we've got lots of other things we can use and play with and in the meantime um, let's see what else can I tell you guys about sorry I like got way off on that tangent there um, but I know like I said people have been asking about all that stuff so okay um, we actually did not have any online orders last week so guys I can't give away that um, it was the six by six brights designer series paper so that's a bummer um, but let me tell you just in case anybody is so inclined to order this week and again you guys get bonus day coupons too so it's a great time to order um, we are gonna give away and I darn it I should have opened up to the page so bear with me just a sec um, let's see oh look at that I did a really good job so this is what we're gonna give away this week with an online order of at least $30 your name goes in the drawing to win um, and let me show you both of them actually give you a little preview of both of these things these are the Magnolia Lane the memories and more card pack and then a full package of these are the memories uh, the Magnolia Lane they're called the large specialty memories and more cards and envelopes we actually use these and I'll show you what we made last night so these are the cards right they've got their really pretty silver edging and then these are the envelopes that also have the edging that's the front that's the back but then the beauty of these especially is they give you all these liners so this liner fits right inside the envelope like that it might be a little bit crooked but once you you just and when you guys when you get these just make sure you only put adhesive 
on the top part, you want it to be able to kind of flex with um, when you fold it, basically. So do not put adhesive all over this piece, just put it along the top, and then you can slide it down in your envelope and tack it down. Um, and that helps make sure that it, you know, you can get it down in the envelope too without it sticking everywhere. So that is what we are gonna give away. Like I said, is a full pack of the Magnolia Lane Large Specialty Memories and More Cards and Envelopes and the Magnolia Lane Memories and More Card Pack. Um, do they have, nope, I guess they don't have a big one. So this is kind of an example of, so there are the cards and then, um, or the envelopes, I guess, and then a card that you could make. And then that's the beauty of all of those are so pretty and of course coordinate really well with that kind of craft um, note card and envelope. So then you've got a bunch of cards that you can just literally like layer right on your um, card fronts, right? Um, and then you can make beautiful cards like in seconds. I don't even want to say minutes, in like seconds. So with that being said, let me show you. These were a couple of our make and takes from Bingo, Bingo last night. So this is one of them, and I actually used, I didn't use the Memories and More cards, I just used designer series paper, because you can't really, like for bingo, I would have had to buy a whole bunch of packs of these, or um, open up one of these and everybody would use different card fronts, because you only get like two of each of them. So I chose to just cut my designer series paper. You can see my beautiful, that petal pink striped organdy ribbon, with our thanks, with, um, I, that's one of our new label punches, I'm forgetting the name of it right now whatever that one's called, if you guys can kind of see it there, but really, really simple. And then we did use that die, because I love that die from the Magnolia, whatever those Magnolia dies are. And then here's another one. This one I actually cased from Mary Fish at Stampin' Pretty, because um, I saw this online and I loved it. So we used a little layer of Mossy Meadow and then some designer series paper, some of the Magnolia Lane ribbon, and then um, that's another sentiment from that. Magnolia stamp set, the thinking of you. So just simple, beautiful, easy cards, right? I did add some white cardstock on the inside of each of these cards also. So I just cut that. I think these are four and a quarter by six and a quarter. So I just cut this whisper white piece to four by six. And then, sorry, I'm probably moving that all over the place. That's another great sentiment, right? This one was the thanks, and it says, not only for what you do, but for being someone so special. Pretty awesome, right? And then this one was just the magnolia flower inside there too, with the thinking of you. So a couple of options, good options for you, things that you could make similarly with those magnolia lane memories and more the card pack and then the notes note cards they're not even note cards they're full large because these are big right this is like i said normally what's our card four and a quarter by five and a half this one is four and a quarter by six so it's a little bit bigger but the envelopes fit perfectly and they are beautiful so like i said that's what we'll be giving away next week is the card pack and then um the why can't I, the large specialty <laughs> um, cards and envelopes, okay? So that is your, what your name will go in the drawing if you put in at least a $30 order and use the host code. I'm gonna give you that host code in just a little bit. The host code is also always at Gathering Inc with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. So it's very easy to find. Um, and you don't have to go back to Facebook Live. Although I feel like I post it all over the place. So hopefully it's easy to find. Um, okay. So, hey Lily, I was hoping she was gonna come down. She hasn't come down yet. Hold, hold on, let me, give me one sec. I wanna see if she will come down and say hi with Ella. Hey Lil. like, ooh, guest star appearance. Um, this is <laughs> really, really fabulous, right? Um, let's see, what else? Ooh, you know what I forgot, too? I forgot to grab the swaps I was going to show you guys. Those are still sitting on my desk. All right, we'll have to find those, too. All right, here she, so you, this is sweet little Ella. She's got the curliest hair. Her dad, Mr. John, has super duper curly. Can you say hi, Ella? There's, <laughs> Do you, can you wave? Can you see yourself in, in the, no. You wave? <laughs> You're not gonna do it. You, do you see yourself in there? 
Maybe. You do, don't you? She's like, whatever. This is so silly. Her mom probably takes lots of pictures of her, though. Don't. Does your mom take lots of pictures of you, Ella? Yeah. <laughs> what if we do tiku, 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 tiku? You're going to get a little smile. <laughs> <laughs> a little smile. All right. Well, Lily's hanging out with Ella for a while today. They're going to go back upstairs and play some more. And I'm going to go get my swaps, and then we're going to move the camera down. So give me one sec. Right. You guys want to like, wave at her? Okay, ladies, I have, so I wanted to show you guys these last week, and then I was like, oh, I knew it was going to take so much time to show you all the other stuff, so I held off. So these are all of my swaps that I received from the cruise, um, so I'm going to kind of just go through and show you those, but I want to move the camera down so they're not all backwards. Okay, so here we go. Turn your heads away for a quick sec, and we will get us set up here. And the other thing I will do, Ella is so sleepy right now. <laughs> She's so cute, her curly, curly hair. I love it. Anyone with curly hair doesn't like it, right? But, sorry, I'm trying to get my camera situated. There, okay. <laughs> okay, so there is the host code that you're gonna wanna use this month, the U3UZ4CEU. Okay, um, okay, guys, here we go. I'm gonna show you, let's see, we'll kind of just go one at a time. You guys can't see these now, can you, right? Okay, oop, oh, they're all upside down there. We'll try this way. So I'm not gonna be able to remember a lot of the products. I can tell you um, a little bit maybe. Um, isn't that awful? Because now I was thinking that was the perennial essence, but I don't think it is. That's a different paper that I can't tell you, but a beautiful um, sentiment. And I love this ribbon is some of my favorite ribbon right now. It's, it's a Rococo rose, kind of like a gathered or ruched or something ribbon, but it's really kind of vintage looking, if you can see that. So there's one. We're just going to kind of flip through these, okay? Then everybody's loving this whole um, kind of uh, beachy waterfront scene right or sweet and then this is that new embossing folder and it looks like looks like maybe she sponged it a little bit we've got some different colors going on there too so very pretty right and then another let's say you make an ordinary day special that's an awesome sentiment right and love how about this one with the sponging isn't that so pretty the Highland Heather and probably Coastal Cabana in a different language that I do not speak probably someone else does and could tell us what that says and then here's another beautiful one, blessed to be your friend with ribbon. You guys, I love ribbon, any kind of ribbon, right? And then the pretty flower, right? Oh, here's another one, very similar. Another, you guys can see those flowers just stamped a little bit differently. How much different they look too with the pretty pinks and greens and the hello on that one. Ooh, who does not love the um, peacock, right? So very proud of you, awesome. Oh my gosh, so, so pretty. And then that beads and baubles embossing folder, can you guys see that one? With some of the um, rhinestones too, the peacock, noble peacock rhinestones, I think. This card is awesome. I am like blown away that someone made 26 of these, to be very honest. Um, oops, it must be on the inside. I was gonna kind of give credit on that one because look at all of the detail, all of the stamping, die cutting, sponging, tying of the twine. Oh my goodness, beautiful. Oh, and actually that one's in another language too. Isn't that funny? I didn't even pay attention to that. So, wow, yes, from someone in Europe, I would say. Um, make your dreams come true here. Let's get that in the view, right? with that unicorn, isn't that so pretty? And just a little wisp of the scalloped ribbon there. I think I showed you guys these a couple weeks ago, maybe. I don't remember now, I'm, try I'm trying. No, I think I showed them on a video that I made that I used some of this um, color, or maybe it was the stamp set. But I love that, prayers and heartfelt sympathy are with you and your family. That's a great sentiment. Um, I'm trying to remember, that's from the, oh my gosh, you guys, my brain, I don't know. Uh, if you have questions on where any of these are from, um, send me a message or an email and I can look it up for you because I know where all these are. I just can't think <laughs> right now. Um, oh, yes, Nikki, you're right. Thank you. You are my awesome resource when I'm doing this. Pressed flowers. I think that is. Pressed flowers or pressed petals. Yes. 
That sounds right. So if you remember this stamp set too, I don't know why I'm totally drawing. It's the heirloom frames embossing folder and that stamp set, and I've played with it a million times. Maybe, maybe woven heirlooms stamp set? Might be, might be. And then here's more, because that's that woven heirlooms designer series paper. And the cow, the funny little cow that says, party till the cows come home. <laughs> so cute. And then this one's fun. I've had a lot of people say how much they love, like the kind of the mama elephant and the baby elephant and how there's a whole grouping of those in this stamp set. And it says, for you, another good one. And then this one took me a minute. I think I was showing these on our Inkspired Stampers. Um, we do a group meeting. That's something else I could tell you guys about too. Um, if you have not already gotten the starter kit and are thinking about joining our Inspired Stampers group, we do um, group meetings the third Tuesday of every month. This one happened to be the fourth Tuesday because the cruise got off track a little bit. But so next August, or, or in August, the third Tuesday of the month, we do meetings. So they're down at the studio, but we also do a Facebook Live too. So that way if you can't, if you're not local and can't get to us here in Alma, you can always watch on Facebook Live and still feel like you're a part of things. So this is the one that was like, what does that say? I was thinking it was in another language too. <laughs> but the, the, the giraffe is the H, right? Hope things get better soon. Ouch, with an exclamation point. Isn't that so cute? <laughs> I love that. And then here's another beautiful, the black and silver and white. Can you see it's embossed too with the vellum? And I love that mosaic. Can you see that? The mosaic embossing folder, if I get that in the right place. Right, it's your time to shine. We've got another pretty, this is a beautiful stamp set. This might be, Diana, this might be the stamp set that you're receiving, um, the beautiful whatever. <laughs> My gosh, sorry, I can't. I have like no reference at all today. Um, a very big congratulations and best wishes to you. Beautiful friendship, I think that's the name of the stamp set. Here's another, oh, can you guys see? I haven't even used this embossing folder, but it's so pretty, this scripty, it was like a 3D scripty 3D embossing folder and then another so very proud of you with that fun it's almost like seaweed or something isn't that it's beautiful though with that little glimmer paper hi Marianne how are you doing so glad you can join us and then here's another fun one oh good you got it yes 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 that's right because you had a birthday earlier this week happy belated birthday Miss Diana and oh you know what it looks like she colored so i've heard people doing this with your stamp and blends i didn't notice that before so this is probably one of the silver um one of those big silver faceted gems and she colored it probably i'm thinking that's granny apple green so maybe with a granny apple green can you see that in the light very pretty mm -hmm. and then here's another good one have a beautiful day i love this <laughs> you're welcome diana there's something about even that um I love the layering, I think is what I really like about this. The layering of kind of that cursive stamp, then with the leaves and just the little bit of ribbon with that pretty butterfly. And then a couple of, actually those are like the little scallop circle punches. Can you see those? Just very, very pretty. Uh, and then, ooh, this one. Okay, are you gonna, there, can you kind of see it? The glare is bad, it's really, really dark, but it's kind of like a moonlit. Oh my goodness, yes, this is a beautiful one too. Um, with that little girl reaching for the moon. I guess I was going to say stars, but it looks more like she's reaching for the moon. And then this is a good one with the horse that says, go for it. <laughs> and then how about this one? I thought this is a great use of your little scrap pieces. Um, you know, when you're trimming down paper, a lot of times you end up with those half inch strips. But look at that. She just layered those. And I bet she put those right on the paper and then just cut it right off like that's how I would have done it right just put all your strips and they're probably coming off the ends and then you just cut it all off at once isn't that so cool and then she actually divided it there too this one's pretty complicated <laughs> probably more complicated than I would uh, take on and then another beautiful the magnolia thinking of you card so look at all those awesome I didn't put them out there so so well but yeah Awesome, awesome swaps. Lots and lots of good ideas. And I love to put these, ooh, I forgot one. My Probably my favorite one because it's got so much detail. Let me show you this one too. I was saying too, I love to put these out on display. And then I realize once I do that, they're down at the studio, then I forget to bring them home or then I can't remember which ones I showed or not. So I kept these in my baggie and so I could show you guys and then I'm gonna take them down to the studio. So look at all of, oh, she, I just realized that. She used some of those. Bina, hello, how are you? This is that pressed petals, maybe washi tape. So, and I haven't even opened mine yet, but they're like these little petals 
that I'm a, I don't know, maybe they have sticky or maybe you have to add sticky, but you can make beautiful flowers with them with this, well, yeah, the washi tape. It has to have some sticky on the back. But look at all of that detail. And she cut all of those out. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful, huh? With that scripty embossing folder again and then maybe some sponging. Just a beautiful card. And then I actually did get one little kind of 3D. Let's open this baby up here. Let's see what we've got. Because this is a cute one too. This is some of my Dino Roar paper. I, I recognize this. And it doesn't look like dinosaurs either, does it, right? It says, just a little something for you with this cute little candy retray. And I, I, I want to know what's inside here. Oh, I thought it was um, held together. Ooh, let's see. What's inside here? I've been wondering. <laughs> Maybe it's candy. Ooh, it is. It's a Twix bar. How about that? So a little mini Twix just for sizing, like reference, fits perfectly in there. <laughs> yes, they are great cards, aren't they, Vina? Lots and lots of good ideas. So if you guys want me to take a close-up picture of any of these and post it, I'm happy to do that. If there's one in particular that you like, just send me the details and I would be happy to post it for you. Okay, so we're gonna scoot these babies out of the way. I'm gonna double check on my notes, but I think we are ready to do our stamping. I'm trying to get that. My camera is all mixed up today, so this does not look anywhere near like it's in the middle of the focus, but apparently it is based on what I'm seeing there. Okay, quick reference here. I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're very good. All right, so let's scoot this stuff. Which one, I'm always like, which one do I wanna show you guys first? Actually, you know what I'm gonna do the very first is mention let me scoot that out of the way for a sec. The Super Summer Giveaway. So I know I've been telling you guys about this, but I just wanted to do kind of a quick reminder and recap. So this is something that I'm doing all summer long, started back on June 1st, and will run through the end of next month through August 31st. You can get entries into the Super Summer Giveaway all summer long, and this is how you can do that. So if you're local to me, for each event that you attend, you get one entry into the drawing. For every $50 that you spend, you get two entries into the drawing. So that's locally at classes and events or online. So every $50 order from June 1 to August 31 online will get you two tickets into this drawing also. This is why I'm really telling you guys about this right now is you get two tickets into the drawing, two entries, each time you post a picture of a project that you've made like I demonstrate on our Facebook Live videos. You just have to post them to this Facebook group that you're watching on right now. So I'll show you in just a few minutes what I'm gonna make. If you either use the card layout or the stamp set that I'm using, post it on our group with that hashtag, Super Summer Giveaway, and then at the end on August 31st, I'll go back through and anybody that's posted a picture of a project using that hashtag, referencing the Facebook Friday um, projects that I demonstrate, you're gonna get two entries into the drawing, okay? Then also, if you bring a new guest to class, you get two entries into the drawing. And we had a new friend at Bingo last night, so her friend got two entries into the drawing, and now she knows that, so when she comes back to class and brings a new friend, she'll get two entries into the drawing also. Um, if you join a club, Simple Beautiful Card Club, Scrapbook Club, the, um, the Class To Go Club, uh, Paper Pumpkin or In Color Club, you get three entries into this drawing. If you buy the starter kit, which is such an awesome deal right now, you get five entries into the drawing. And if you hold your own private party or class, you also get five entries into the drawing. And I will tell you, I can do a Facebook party if you're not local. Um, I have learned about how to do those. I haven't actually done one yet, um, but I'd love to do one for you. So even if you're not local, if you want to do um, a Facebook Live party or a Facebook group, I guess it is, party, and we spread it out over a few days with lots of fun posting and sharing, um, you would get five entries into the drawing. And I will be doing the drawing in September and giving away lots of new product from the holiday catalog, okay? So just so you guys know, lots of good ways to get entries into that drawing. Okay, let me, what do I need? I need my grid paper. I was teasing, now we're really gonna do our stamping. Okay, there, it was buried. My grid paper was buried under other things. Okay, so we've got that, got our host code. Let's see. 
Okay, so this is one of the, well, the treat that I gave everybody at Bingo last night, we used. These are the copper dotted treat bags, and I was so excited. So I, um, and don't look too closely, because that might not be a full package of Hershey cookies and cream. <laughs> yeah, these were really, really good, ladies. So I put some with kind of that white packaging and then some um, with just the chocolate Hershey bars. But anyway, a little five snack pack size package fits in there perfectly. And then I have to show you guys how I made the tag. I love decorating. These bags are beautiful on their own, but then I love to just add a little bit of fun to the bags. So I will tell you, if you put your online order in, I will go buy some more chocolate. And when I send you this little bag, this will be filled with chocolate too. Okay, just a little bribe for you guys. All right, so let me show you how we made that little treat bag. Okay, so let's see, I've got my little pieces here and I need my big shot. OMG. <laughs> I forgot that too. It was one of those, I was really tired after bingo last night, ladies. I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. I worked all day, had bingo, and then was supposed to come home and get ready for Facebook Live and I was exhausted, or finished getting ready. I was some ready. Um, so I didn't, I did it this morning, and now I need to go get my big shot too so I can show you my die cutting. So we can do our stamping. No, no, we're gonna do our die cutting. Hold on, I'm gonna get my big shot and I will be right back. Okay, here I come. <laughs> Always excuses, right? Okay, yeah, because typically I would, um, what was I saying? Typically I would stamp and then die cut, but this is such a little piece that I wanna make sure everything fits inside there. So we're gonna do the opposite of what I usually tell you, and we're gonna die cut and then stamp, okay? So we are gonna use, and I gotta show you guys, these are some fun dies that we are using. And I'm gonna put, so I've got some vellum too, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. I'm trying to see, yep, there's one more piece. Okay, so we're gonna get all of our pieces on here, and then I'm gonna show you the dies that we are using. So the first one, these are the Frosted Bouquet dies. Now these were in our holiday catalog last year, so they may be a little bit familiar. Um, those are little label kind of things too. And then there's a whole stamp set that all of these little pieces will cut out. Um, and then actually the one that we're going to use is right back here. And it looks, it's funny because when you look at the picture of these frosted bouquet dies in the catalog, you see something like this and you kind of can't tell. Like when I put it up close, you can see all those little um, spriggy pieces. That is, and it's kind of just layered. It was just a little bit of copper detail. Can you see that little sprig right there? So I think what's confusing is it looks so big and solid, but it cuts out the teeny tiny little delicate sprig. And I love that die. I have used that so much. Let's scoot that up there so you guys can see, right? Okay, so that's one die. Then we also, on our vellum, it's just a circle. We used, um, this is the second largest stitched shape circle. And then the other dies are here. I'm just sure of it because I used it on the other card I'm going to show you guys. That's why it wasn't jumping right out at me. Okay, so these are beautiful. These are the detailed bands dies and this is actually, so this is the one that we're going to use and it's actually a flower. You can almost kind of see. So there's a stamp set that coordinates with these detailed bands dies and it's a stamped flower, and then you put this piece over it and you cut your flower out. I just loved how it looked um, to begin with. Um, it's kind of like a label. And then these are the other, you, this gives you a better idea why it's called the detailed bands. And we're gonna use this one on the other card that we're gonna make in a few minutes. But here's another one with the band and then all the detail. And they do have some simple, like I saw, this one was all cut and then maybe they'd stamp and die cut with that oval and layer it right over top of there. Another cool label, and then just some other, some leaves, a um, few different leaves, and then a pretty little scrolly piece there. So we'll see a little bit more of those in a few minutes. Okay, so let's do our die cutting on these things. Here's my top. Okay, so I've got the magnetic 
platform, one clear cutting pad underneath, my paper, my framelits with the edge down so we make the cut, right? And then one more clear cutting piece on top. Can you, you can barely see, right? The little stitched detail there. And then this is the one we're gonna do our, can you kind of see how it might cut out a flower? It's a flower or a couple flowers. I can't quite remember for sure now. Okay, and then let's see how this baby, <laughs> you know what we're gonna do? This is the one we're gonna crank through a couple times just to make sure we've got it here. Okay, one more. Let's go one more just for good, for good fun, right? And stop swinging here now. Yeah, I can tell. You can kind of see how, um, when you see the metal behind there, you know it's cut all the way through. Right? If you still see the paper, after you run it through a few times, it's not been cut through. So you want to see that metal poking out. We've got our Big Shot die brush. Did that help me? It's supposed to help me, but I have my paper piercing tool. So that's fine, yeah. So you just have to be a little bit careful but that um, foil, so the copper foil, isn't that pretty? Beautiful, love that little spriggy guy. Okay, scooting those, all good. Okay, so now we can do our stamping. So we'll stamp on this little piece. Oh, <laughs> those are all those little bits of, um, from, my, from my pad, from my Big Shot die brush. Okay, so I have Mossy Meadow ink, we are gonna stamp, this is the stamp right here. Just a little something for you. I can't tell you how many times I've used the stamp set. So we're using that stamp and then these cute little flowers with the leaves, I love them. How about that one? Wishing you a delightful birthday. Treats made with love, then there's welcome baby. Actually, I should do this. Congratulations to the happy couple on your new home and welcome baby. So awesome stamp set, super versatile, I love Honestly, I just love that all of the stamp sets that I've gotten so far, I've used a ton. Maybe you guys are getting tired of seeing some of them. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying to spread it out enough. Um, but yeah, I've gotten good use out of all of them that I've gotten, which I appreciate too. Okay, so in Petal Pink ink, we're going to stamp these little baby flowers kind of right underneath there. And then I used some Crumb Cake ink for the little petals on our flowers. And then these are gonna kinda fall off the bottom edge, which was okay. There we go, okay? Hey, Amy Jo, how are you doing? Beautiful summer day, right? Okay, so we've got that little piece. We have our circle of vellum. We're actually gonna just put a couple of dimensionals behind that, so that's gonna layer on there. We can go ahead and do that, All right? Then we don't lose pieces, okay? So that can go right there, okay? Then we also, okay, so I had to make these. These were the treats that I made for everybody for bingo, and I got a little bit excited and like punched um, <laughs> these pieces of designer series paper, and they were the last ones that I had. So I dug this little bit out of the trash so that I can show you guys <laughs> the measurements. So this strip, and this is part of the Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper pack, measures one and a half by five inches. Then I put it inside my punch, punched it out, that came off, and that was left, okay? Same idea with this piece that measures two inches by four inches, right? I took this piece, I slid it inside there, I punched it, that fell off, and this is what I was left with. So I did use my banner triple punch, I just, couldn't officially show you guys that. Alrighty, I think we can go ahead and put things together. Let's find some adhesive. All right, so I just put a little bit of adhesive kind of on the corner there, and I like those to be at a little bit of an angle. Okay, so we did that. Then I'm gonna add this designer series paper. Oh, these are the little, I think I'm saying them right, yep, the copper dotted treat bags. So you get 10 of these bags in a package. So I've got Handily enough, one left in this package, so we're just gonna pop this. And I love the detail too. You guys can see, right? The dots, the copper, the cute little edging. And these bags, just so you know, measure 
it's almost five inches by about seven inches. So about a five by seven inch box or bag. Okay, so I put adhesive right there. I'm gonna just layer that right on there. Okay, then, and I'm gonna be careful, I'm gonna put adhesive on my vellum piece, but I don't want it around the edges because you can see it and we don't wanna see it. I'm just gonna layer that little baby right on there. And then I am gonna use, and I remembered, so I did remember some stuff. <laughs> this, and actually, you know what I wanna do? You really don't want that little piece. I'm gonna trim that guy off because it kind of gets in the way of trying to be able to tuck that underneath there. Hey, Jody, how are you doing? I'm gonna add just a little bit of adhesive. So I like to use, this is my silicone craft sheet, so that when I use my snail and I put it on that little piece that doesn't really have much room to hold the adhesive, I don't get sticky all over my work paper. It kind of, it might stick on here, but then you can just like rub it right off. It's just a great, I was saying at bingo last night, it's just this kind of funny little thing that everybody needs. Like you kind of don't realize how handy it is. So we're just gonna kind of let that kind of peek out from behind there, okay? And then two more little details. So this is my package, a couple of basic adhesive back sequins. This is kind of how it goes, ladies. These sequins, I find a big bag and just kind of lightly tuck them in there. So they come in a bunch of really soft, pale colors. And my absolute favorite are these that are I don't know, maybe they're the mint macaron, I can't remember the other pale green color, but they're like um, a little iridescent, and I use these things all the time. So there's a glue dot back there, so when you peel it off, just make sure you get the glue dot. I just literally popped one. I just wanted a little sparkle on that tag. And then my most favorite, my, can I say this, mas favorito, uh, ribbon. I'm, I, want, I wanted to pretend I'm Spanish sometimes. Um, okay, Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon. That's all it is, Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon. So I know I showed you this on another card, but it's kind of like a, it's almost like a gold. It's like a crumb cake gold, but it, you can kind of see through it. It's a little bit gathered, and then that pretty Rococo Rose edge, beautiful ribbon. Okay, so we're gonna tie it in a bow. Oh, Lily and Ella are leaving. Ella's going back home to see her mom. We might see you later, right, Ella? All right, bye ladies. <laughs> She's got the cutest hat on too. Lily should have brought her down with the hat on. Okay, that's not big enough, sorry. It's one of those days. I wanna make a little bit bigger ribbon. Okay, there we go. All right, there's our beautiful bow. So you guys see how I, everyone's always like, how do you make a bow? So I play with it a little bit, maybe you know, and then it kind of loosens up in the middle there, so you kind of have to pull the little bunny ears tight again. Okay, I'm going to snip that off right about there. And then where is, get my glue dots out, okay? And we're going to just, easiest way to use your glue dots, do not touch them. Just peel it off till you find the next one and then just put your ribbon right to your glue dot. I kind of use my fingernail to like, lift it up, make sure it came up with the ribbon. And there, that is it. And then you just insert some more non-existent chocolate because it's already been eaten by Lily and I. <laughs> but basically, it just slips right in there, that little five pack, right? It's a little five snack size Hershey bar package. And they fit in there. I got these at the dollar store, like a, I think, I don't know, dollar... One of, one of those dollar stores I got them at. So it was a good deal too, right? Five little pieces of chocolate for a dollar. So that is the first project. So again, if you're new to Facebook Live, remember if you put that online order in of at least $30 and use the host code, the U3UZ4CEU, I'm gonna send you one of these and I'll even put chocolate in it for you, okay? And then we've got one more fun project to show you guys. Okay scooting that stuff out of the way. Okay, so this was the other make and take that we made. Yes, I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna show you another fun thing related to the make and take. Okay, so this is the other card that we made last night at Bingo and it features, so can you see the flowers right there? Are from this For the Love of Felt stamp set and I know you're all gonna say, Where's that stamp set in the catalog, Amy? Well, let me show you. Right after I show you, we used this 
fun um, flower and then I kind of use that like the stem even though maybe it's supposed to be another funky little flower right and then I love this sentiment you make an ordinary day special and I pop that can you guys see I'll show you a little bit more on those two but I have to show you guys first of all so where is that stamp set well let me show you hold on just a sec let's get this guy so it's way in the back of the catalog where our kids are okay it says projects with purpose so this little kit super duper cute called i'll move this over here it's for the love of felt project kit and i'm going to show you guys this beautiful kit in just a sec but you get to make four of each of these cards so you make 12 cards they give you everything you need in the project kit and then you will need this super cute for the love of felt stamp set to be able to complete your cards but isn't that you kind of get a close-up i'm going to show you because we made these cards actually we made them the other night at our inkspired stampers um meeting okay so let's see do i have it well hold on here i am just like opening up this box so first of all the kit comes with this super cute box you can see those flowers look an awful lot like that stamp flower, right? And even the leaves on there too. So it's about the size of like a recipe box was kind of what I was thinking. Love these little boxes, right? That cute little detail on the inside. And let me show you. These are, oops, got some other stuff inside there. Is that everything? Okay, I'll show you that in a sec. These are the three cards. They are adorable, aren't they? Yes, Vina, they, they really, really are. And I, what, what, kind of took me back in time was these little felt pieces because I think one of the very first um, card making kits that I got from Stampin' Up had these little felt pieces in them and I absolutely loved it. It was one of those like this just brings me back to like I don't know 12 or 13 years ago when I first discovered Stampin' Up and was having lots and lots of fun. Not that I'm not having fun now but it was a lot of fun back in the beginning because everything was so new. So we did some stamping. We added the felt, some twine, those little sequins. And then these pieces, actually, the leaves and that little flower are little detailed die cuts that you just pop out to. And then here, and I'm, I'm pretty sure, I think this one was supposed to have twine going like kind of crisscross across here a few times. Totally forgot to do that until after I put it together. And there's really no good way to feed the twine <laughs> and tack it around the back. So this one doesn't have twine, but yours could if you followed the directions. But again, more of the felt and those little flowers and leaves. So lots of kind of um, texture and detail. And then here, how about this one? They gave us this vellum too, that's kind of got some printed words on it, just kind of background, soft background. Um, and then this was actually on there. We stamped the leaves and then did a bunch of other stamping too. But isn't that, they're just so beautiful. And they've got some kind of fun detail. You can see this one's printed right there. I think this one, oh yeah, was printed with little stripes on it too. So super duper cute kit. They give you everything you need. So we have some uh, two different sizes of sequins. Here, these are all the felt flowers. The big pink, the little bit smaller. I think they're kind of a Calypso Coral and Melon Mambo maybe. And then these are hard to tell, right, um, in there. But that's, it's almost like a little, looks like snowflakes, but they are flowers too, right? And then more card bases. These are, let me show you. So I just think this kit is so cute. So here's that vellum printed piece that I was talking about. These are how the leaves come. So kind of like our paper pumpkin kits, you just pop those leaves out a couple of those here these are some of the the layering pieces so there's a little bit that's already printed but then you do a bunch of stamping and then some more leaves and then these guys just pop out too right and then the flowers and again those just pop they're perforated so they just pop right out oh and the other best part the envelopes so cute right oops i did that upside down yeah so printed on that side right and then you can write the address so yeah, super cute kit. So if you're kind of new, feeling like a little bit lost, this would be a great um, kit to start with. Um, they give you, hmm, did I bring that? I think I did, oh yeah, right here. They give you directions too, so they have this little printout. And there's actually, um, I'm pretty sure a video on how to put these together too. So they show you, there's like an English, if you speak English, or other languages, if you speak another language. 
and then they kind of tell you what these numbers relate back to the steps here and then they show you the pictures of all three of the cards and how to put them together so super duper cute kit all right let me get this stuff out of the way so with all that being said i used the stamp set from the for the love of felt project kit on this card because i wanted to show everybody that cute kit too but i knew i didn't have enough pieces left for everybody to make that one so it was kind of a double dose there i guess okay so let's see we're gonna move that guy um let me get my ink pad colors out here do those three i need that oh and i did bring this was my I, i'm gonna try this i'll explain what i'm <laughs> what I'm talking about in just a sec. I'm just seeing, oh, you know the other thing I wanna show you guys too, because I showed this last night at Bingo. These are kind of like a color coach, we used to call them, um, but with our new in colors. So for example, Purple Posy is my favorite. <laughs> oh, it is a great kit, isn't it, Nikki? Yes, it is. So I know I've said this, Purple Posy is one of my favorite in colors. The other in colors, Terracotta Tile, Seaside Spray, Rococo Rose, and Pretty Peacock. But what Stampin' Up! does for us is they give you kind of like a color combination chart so I looked at this and I was like, okay, I love Purple Posy. I wanna do something with Purple Posy. So that's how I came up with the colors here. If you can see Purple Posy on my card base, Grapefruit Grove on that piece and my stamping and then Soft Sea Foam on that embossed piece. So this is a great, you know, if you're kind of stuck, you don't know where to get, you know, how to get started. These color coaches are awesome and I will, um, uh, post the link to these color coaches. There's one for these five in colors and then last year's in colors. I'll post both of those um, so that you kind of, they're good for like inspiration and, and ideas. You know, like I said, sometimes you're just stuck and you have to, uh, you know, you need a little inspiration and I think these are wonderful for that. So, okay. Let me see, what do we need? Should I tell you? Let's give you dimensions before because I feel like I'm already off to the races on like what we're doing here so let's do that actually here let's get this guy out of the way for a sec okay so i've got my purple posy card base <laughs> thank you marianne i'm glad you like that and nikki i think you're saying you're gonna have to watch the rest you have a great weekend too okay so purple posy card base eight and a half by eleven we cut it along the eleven inch side at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side we scored it at four and a quarter inches okay Nice crisp fold on our card, right? Then we have a piece of Grapefruit Grove cardstock that measures, this one is, you make sure you have two and one eighth by four and a quarter, okay? And then our soft sea foam piece that measures two and a quarter by five and a quarter, okay? And then I have just this scrap piece of Whisper White and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in just a sec. Okay, so let's do, what do I wanna do first? I did find um, that I wanna do, well, let's see if we can do this, right? We're gonna stamp. I was gonna say, I would suggest maybe doing the die cutting of that rectangle first, but I'm gonna try. Let's see what happens. So Denise, I'm showing how to make the cards that we made last night at Bingo. So if you needed any tips, here we go. Okay, so this is my Grapefruit Grove, I'm gonna stamp one right there, and I'm gonna stamp one right there, okay? Then we are gonna use, I used a little bit of Sahara sand just to kinda of add a little inside of the flowers, okay? So that's all we need for that. And then the sentiment, we are gonna stamp with our soft sea foam ink pad. Oh, Vina's got to head out too. Have a great weekend, you too. Thank you very much, Miss Vina. I'm glad you could watch for a little while. Okay, so now this one I'm going to put, and I kind of realized after I put these strips together, it's almost like I really need to cut them because I'll show you why. Where are my bands, my detailed bands, guys? Because this band kind of took over. Like that's going to go right on there, but then it's kind of getting in the way and we don't even need the band. So actually that's gonna help me decide where to snip. Probably right about there is good. So let's do that. 
Okay, so that's gonna be one. And I showed you guys these, right? The detailed bands dies, such cute dies, along with that one flower that I flung somewhere. Okay, and then if you don't have these yet, the rectangle stitched framelits, I love, love, love these. Use them all the time. You can see all the different sizes that you get. We're gonna actually use, that's the largest in that little section. We're gonna put that one right on there, okay? All right, so let's get those things die cut, and we do need to do our embossing too. So I'll show you that. Oh my, I need that platform too. Okay, we'll grab that in a sec. And I wanna show you, I can't forget to use that other stamp too. I wanna show you what I was thinking with that Versamark. Okay, so again, we've got the magnetic platform this piece we're going to lay right on here okay and and this one it might just cut off a little bit that's why i was kind of saying i don't know if you guys can see that saying maybe to cut this piece and then stamp it first and it's going to be okay we're just gonna um i didn't stamp them quite as close together this time as i did on the card but that's going to be all right so i would say either way this one you definitely want to stamp and then place the die around because there's not going to be any good way of um, trying to stamp you know seriously trying to stamp that little stamp inside there after you cut it I wouldn't recommend it I'm sure it's possible if you used your stamparatus probably be really possible okay we're gonna go back and forth here a couple of times Carolyn hey how are you doing hope you're having a good summer all right so let's see we've cranked those through a couple times right we've got this baby so there's that one right there right and then we've got this one so that little almost looks like a dog bone <laughs> if you cut those off right when it, it would kind of look like a dog bone right and then here's the band die so we're going to kind of try to carefully lift this and i will clean that die out later but look at that look at how nicely and easily that pulled right out of there right hey lil will you do me a favor i forgot the other platform to do the embossing that's just right over there. Would you grab it for me, please? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, oh, actually, so I don't wanna get rid of the Big Shot, do I? I'm gonna keep the Big Shot, I just need the other platform. And then I will show you guys, let's see, man, this table is not big enough for everything we're doing here. The detailed bobbles, thank you very much. I want my regular Big Shot platform here, okay? The detailed baubles die. Isn't this fun? So we're just going to put this right in here, and I just want to make sure it's lined up. I know that there is a stripe on the embossing folder, but we're going to just go for it like this. Okay, so I've got one clear cutting pad underneath, and then the other one on top. And we're going to run this through and do our embossing. Okay. Okay, how about this fun? Isn't that cute? <laughs> you guys hear that really loud car go by? It's so nice to have the windows open, but kind of embarrassing sometimes when people go, people go by with their funny music blaring. Okay, so I think we have it all. All of a sudden I was like, did I need to die cut that? But I don't, right? Okay, so I think we can kind of put things together here. My adhesive, we are gonna put some adhesive on the back of this piece. I was just hesitating. I'm like, did I give you guys dimensions? But I did, I know I did. That's why I do that in the beginning because I get off to the races and can't remember later. Okay, so that one just kind of layers right inside there, right? We're gonna put some more adhesive on the back of our rectangle stitched piece. And we're gonna pop this one right on here. Okay, and then I want some dimensionals. I'm gonna put these on the back of this baby right here. Okay, we're gonna just peel these off and put them on our card. How's everybody doing? You guys are quiet now at this point. All right, we almost have our second card made. All right, we're gonna just pop that right on there. Now I need this piece again. We use this a number of times. So because this has so much detail, oh, actually before we 
put adhesive on it. We want to so these, um, oops, and then the back of a dimensional gets stuck on there. And Lily wants to say goodbye. Okay, you're heading out. All right. Going swimming. going swimming. She's going swimming, ladies. Doesn't that sound like a nice idea? Have fun swimming, Lil. <laughs> okay. And let's see. So we are just going to kind of trim these little bands off. Oops, I almost got it. Yeah, you know. It is easy, but it's a lot easier when you're not doing it on the live, and you can get it right up under your nose to see what you're doing, as opposed to right now when it's further away underneath the camera. Okay, so I just kind of trimmed that one off. We're going to just trim this, but you can see how fun it would be to use this um, with a long band, too. You could even add to it to make it go all the way around, um, like a package of cards or something, right? Okay, so now, isn't that so pretty? Love all that scroll work there, right? Okay, so all I wanna do is add, and I just am kind of flicking this adhesive on here. I'm not running a full strip across here because I don't wanna get too much inside those little holes. A little bit is not gonna bother me, but a big long strip of it might bother me. Okay, so we are going to, and I'm just kind of trying to add, line those things up, the little points of the scroll work. And if you rub, then once you put this on here and rub a little bit, obviously to lay it down on there, it also kind of helps you rub off if there's a little bit of extra adhesive there, okay? Now we've got our little, you make an ordinary day special that again, kind of looks like a dog bone. I can't get over that. I hadn't noticed that before. We're gonna use a couple little mini dimensionals on the back of this. We're gonna pop this one. Oops. Okay, <laughs> it's being futzy. There we go. All right, so we're gonna put our sentiment right on there. Then I need, so this is some of the Nature's Twine. You can see it comes in all of these fabulous colors. Mid Macaron, mm, I think it is Blackberry Bliss, Crumb Cake, and then we're using Grapefruit Grove. You like it, Rosemary? Thank you. I'm glad you are enjoying this. <coughs> okay, so we're just going to make a little bow. <coughs> Excuse me, now I have a tickle in my throat. And as I cough, all the little <coughs> backs of the dimensionals are flying everywhere. Mm. Okay, grab a little sip of water. All right, we got our scissors. And then I just want to use another glue dot that I did put these away. Okay. So let's see, we've got that. We're gonna just pop that glue dot right on the back of our little bow. Pop our bow right on the corner. And then, what else do we need? Just a couple of pearls. My pearl's good, they are right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna pop these. We're gonna do one pearl right there, maybe one right there, and we'll do one on our sentiment, maybe right about there. So just press down on those. Bye, Lil. Have fun swimming. Okay, and there is our second project. So how about that color combination? Don't you just love that? Oh, yep, rides here. <laughs> You're monking. So again, our Purple Posy Grapefruit Grove and Soft Sea Foam featured on our beautiful You Make an Ordinary Day Special card. So you guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you hanging out with me every Friday. I love that you're able to do that either with me live or later, catch it later whenever it's convenient for you because I know Friday at 1130 isn't convenient for everybody, right? So if you are so inclined, I think I showed you lots of fun product. You're probably gonna need many, many of these things, right? If you are so inclined, if you put your online order in by next Wednesday of at least $30, you are gonna get this project and this project. We'll put those both right there. I will send you one of each of these projects in the mail. Your name is gonna go in the drawing to win the Magnolia Lane Memories and More card pack and then the cards and envelopes with the pretty liners in them also, okay? So lots of good stuff that you can win. Also, don't forget with bonus days, you get a $5 coupon from Stampin' Up! for bonus days, and I send you a free embellishment if you put an order in over $50. So thank you guys so very much for watching me today. I really appreciate that, and thank you, Diana. You're saying, yeah, I love the card and the color helpers, yes. 
Yes, it is a great help when you get stuck. Sometimes that just happens, right? Or take a look at other you know, ideas online. So many good ideas online too. So thank you guys for watching. Oh my goodness, the table has exploded. If you could, <laughs> if you could only see it. All right, have a great weekend, ladies. Everybody just have a wonderful, wonderful um, last weekend of July of summer, right? It's, oh my gosh, it's not ending yet. We've still got a whole nother month. <laughs> Yay. Okay, all right, bye guys. Have a good weekend. See you next Friday.